Okay, I got a CBT lesson from Stick McGee and his buddies, and the song's called Drinkin' Wine, Spody Ody. This came out in 1949. This is for one of my CBT students. Um, wow, the chords are fabulous. When you listen in deeper, it's doing a little more than on the surface blues stuff. Um, everything's notated and um, time stamped, so you'll be able to match it up. Um, standard tuning. Now they're using an acoustic. Um, my acoustics inoperable at the moment, so I'm just doing clean channel on my electric. And right off the get go, man, some really cool chords here. We need 9D third finger, bar the seventh fret, strings three through one, so G, B, and E, because we're going to need the seven off the G and the seven off the high E, and then pinky fret nine on the B. So the chord is. <laughs> the seventh chord so um, strum strings four through two and then catch the high E string with an up strum da 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 once you get that on the first one you're gonna take the whole shape move it a half step flat to eight six eight six so it's the same chord though um, the shape wise so you just got to move it over don't overanalyze it. If you, when you're doing the upstrum, if you catch the B string with it, it's totally okay. It's within the chord. They're, it's a hold, so they're ringing anyways. But um, yeah, you wouldn't want to go, you know, but you have. And then the C7 has a G on the bass. And this is kind of tricky. Uh, if you can't get the G bass in it, just play a standard C7 chord. Uh, the only way to do it, you know, this guy probably had a flat fingertip because it, it is tricky. Um, if you went from the bottom up, you'd have, you'd have one on the B with your first finger, three on the G with your pinky, two on the D with your middle finger, and then three on the A. Now that's a C7 chord. It would be a C7 slash G because it's got an altered bass note. The only way to do that, because we're out of fingers, is to push the third fret, kind of bar it with the third finger to where you're handling the G and the C note, third fret and third fret. Oops, we don't need the high E in it, so. But one thing you can do, uh, kind of think of it as centering in between the two strings. You might get a little fret buzz and just have to move it a little bit. At the end of the day, if you don't get the G note in there, don't sweat it, but it sure sounds cool with it. Um, the strum, once you get there, is down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Do that a few times looped for you. Got a little buzz going there myself. Alright, so those three chords are already smoking, man. Oops, we had a. And then the C7 slash G. All right, once again. Earth. That's section one. That's from zero to two seconds. Section two comes in. This is three seconds to 50 seconds. And um, it's got a lot of stuff going on. This part's kind of standard, but it's tough. I mean, it's the hardest spot to do this blues riff because the fret spacings are so far apart. And he was doing this on acoustic, so... 1E, 3A, and we're going to be altering from that to getting the pinky up to the 5A, and it's back and forth. You'll go. It's played four times, so as far as the subgroup, you probably already know, but it would be the first four things there, which is. And I've got double dots in your tabs, and I wrote 12 times next to it. So you know how many times to do that. Just think three groups of uh, four, you know, in your mind. That way you're not going 11, 12, you know what I mean? Basically, at the end of the day, however you need to think of it mentally, to do 12 times. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
And then we have a rest based off this F, uh, F power chord, F5. It's 1E, 3A. You're already there. So you'll just hit it, rest, karate chop it here. And then this part, um, really cool, man. I noticed because it's got the piano in it. And the tonality from some of the piano tones and the guitar in some areas are, are similar. So it was, I really had to, to keep rewinding it and listening because I didn't want to give you just the standard the average person would just think, you know, and it's not doing that. It's definitely not doing that. So um, I had to listen beyond that piano and just kind of try to zone in on the guitar only, and it was still a little tough. The next one is B flat seven. You'd bar the first fret. I think we're gonna bar this. Let's see. Um, one A, three D, one G, uh, three B. So we do have to bar it to catch the B flat and the A flat. One three one three. Make sure that index muting out the high E, tip of that first finger muting that underneath of the low E, and then on this, um, it's kind of a bass note to start it, and then the strum progression. And it's this part was one of the harder parts to hear too. But so it's a, a B flat seven the first time, and then it's a the second time it's a B flat sl seven slash F, putting an F on the bass end similar to how we did the C7 slash G, same concept, and there's a lot of those in here. Um, so, you're gonna pick the root, which is the B flat right here, and then strum strings uh, two, three, and four, down, up, down, up, down. So if you play that together, it's, oops. And then go ahead and apply that pressure. If you're muting it, like I said at the beginning, you could just push it down actually, but you gotta be careful not to hit it. But you would just, if you're muting it, just shift a little bit of pressure up and you'll grab that F note. So now we're playing that. It's the same beat rhythmically. So there's our F and then strings two, three, and four. Same, uh, same strum. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Then back to the first one we did, but the strum is different, the B flat seven. So the first fret on the A, go down, down, up. The down up is on the strings two through four. So that's the fourth line down. So then we catch the F bass, go up to one E, and then down up strings two, three, and four. And then back to this, one E, three A, down, up, and then jump up to the 5A, and the 1E stays, that's a down, and then do that again. There's a rest after it, so. So check it out. Um, from line three, we have, where it did the, into the B flat seven. And then, this part was tough to hear as well. Guitar and, and, and piano tonalities were super close here. C7, you don't need the G on the bass, so it's standard C7. Three, two, three, one, as well as the open high E in it this time. And you'll keep this really staccato. It's gonna be eight really tight, close together strums. Strings five through one. From there, you can see I went into the B flat seven. So we're going from C seven eight times, down strum, staccato, into the B flat seven, one, three, one, three, A through B string, uh, four times staccato. And just, you know, you gotta take the pick to come back down. So in that, you know, your hands and probably your fingers are hitting the other strings. You want that because you don't want anything re, uh, bleeding through. Keep it real bop, 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 bop. No tones ringing through. That's how this is achieved, as well as lifting pressure here. But I do both. Extra security, and it's just a habit now. Okay, and then you're, uh, you're doing back to this 1E, 3A. It's got like a turnaround here, and it's really cool. One three, one three, one five. Down, up, down. Da, da, da. Into the C7 with the G bass. Down, up, down, up. So it's. 
Oops. Right, so. And then back to the F5 power chord this time. 1 E, 3 A, go down, up, down, change. The change is the C7 with the G bass. And that's an up strum too, so. Down, up, down, C7 slash G, up, up, down, up. So da, 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 da. So we went. Then we move over, well, that's two times. You'll see double dots in the tabs. So you'll go back to the beginning of section two where it did the 12 times. That whole part with the. That's it for page one. Moving along on the back side, we have section three. This is 51 seconds to a minute nine. And you'll see double dots throughout this. There's a lot of repeats going on. And kind of strange, man. I listened to this, and it's weird how they connected section two and section three. I listened close. It's nine times of something that you would think would be eight times. They made it work, and it flows and everything. But when you're figuring it out, it's like, whoa. So I had to really zone in on that, but you know the progression. 1 E, 3 A, 2 times, 1 5, E A, 2 times. And we're keeping consistent down, up, down, up. Okay, before we were going, now it's, and there's something really cool coming up here. You're going to go nine times, right? So one time is, we need nine of them. Three, four. And then this part I thought was really interesting. Another part I had to really listen close to. It's not what you think. Then he goes. So you're now barring the first fret on the E and A. Keeping the same rhythm, same type of concept. But um, instead of 1-3, it's 1-1. One, one. And then we're doing the 1-5. You know what I mean? So we have down, up. Go to the fifth fret A. And go down, up. The beats are in weird spots though. The pauses are in between the changes. It's just fast. That's four times of that. Then you're back to the first one we did, and this is four times now. One, three, one, three, one, five, one, five. Okay, then we move into the next part, which is C7. Um, you don't have to play the E on either either string there and this part was interesting too I had to zone in on it um, it's let me play it and then just kind of let you hear the the melody change and I gotta say all the years I've been playing I've never played it like that it's really cool I learned a few things in this one three two three one you're going down rest up lift the middle finger off and now we have that open D in there, and that'll be down, rest, up, and that's four times. So your melody, only thing changing there is with the chord, right? Try to mute that low E. Um, anyways, I thought that was really cool. Just section three is full of a lot of little goodies that are different. This was cool too. Um, three, two, one on the A, D, and G, and you'll go a little, little quarter step bend on it. So you'll go hit it two times, quarter step bend the first one. Then three, two, three, A, D, G, go down, up, down basically a C7 so you have back to this familiar part 1 3 um, down up 1 5 down 
So back to the C7, 323 three, ADG, down, up, down. Back to this again, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 5, down, up, down. Into the C7, 3, 2, 3, 1, no E strings. And we'll go up, up. If you listen close, you'll hear that accent. So. Oops. As I tell you too, on those big stretches, make sure that thumb is lower so you don't wind up, you know, shorten yourself on that stretch. The lower your thumb is, the further you'll be able to stretch. Okay, then we hit some repeats. Section 2, one time, minute 10 to a minute 31. Section 3, one time, a minute 32 to a minute 50. Then the solo comes in, which is really cool. Uh, you'll be familiar with some of these little riffs. 12D, no, 12G, 11B with finger 3 and 2. You're going to slide it a whole step to 14, 13. And once you get there, you'll go up, down, up, down, down. Okay, that's the first part. Go back, slide it again, and this time go up, down, up, up. So you have two little concepts there. Then do it again, but this time slide and go up, down, up, and do it twice. Okay, and then we have 11 high E. This is, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The first part we just did is section one, or subgroup one within the solo. Um, subgroup two comes in at a minute 55 to a minute 56, a short part. 11 high E, quarter step bend, which are common in blues. 13 B, and then 11 E, 13 B. All right, that's it for that one. Subgroup three is 157 to 158. Real short, you'll go. 12G, half step. 12G, half step, bend, release. And then go 10, 12, 10 on the G. So. And then 12G, half step, bend, release. So. Rest and then go to page four, no, page three, subgroup four, minute 59 to 201, goes 10G. Let me play it. 10, 12, half step, 12, half step, been released. 10, 12, 10, down, up, down. 10. So 12G twice, half step, been the second one. Half step, bend it again, and then 12, 10, G, down, up. Oops. And then we have... Oops. I like that. That's subgroup 5, 202 to 206. Um, 13, B, 12, 11, B, and that's the rest there. So, and then 12G half step bend, and then alternate pick 10, 12 on the G, and then 10G after that, so. And then this one is alternate picked. Thirteen, twelve, eleven on the B, 13, 12, 10 on the G, so, oops, and that's alternate picked. 13B, down, up, up. Oops. So. Then you have some repeats. Section 2, 207 to 230. Section 3, 231 to 246. Section 2, to the end. Um, but at the very end, there's this, this part. I know you're going to want it. Uh, it's like the intro kind of. Bar the sixth fret G through high E. Go basically go eight six eight six. You're gonna hit the sixth fret on the B first. So take the pinky off. Go down up. So it's oops. So down up and then move that chord shape up nine seven nine seven. 
strum down, move it back a half step, strum up. So it's... Okay, and then go to the 8th fret D, go down, and then back up to the 9797, nine, up, move it a half step back and go up. So it's... And then this. 3, 2, 3, A, D, G, and then 1, 3, 1, 2 on the uh, top four. And that's it. Had fun doing it. Turned me on to a new song. Actually, a band I'd never heard of. 1949, man. We wasn't around yet. Um, had fun. If you have questions, hit me up. See you soon.